and welcome to another Orange Coast College Mathematics video. In this video, we're going to learn about scientific notation. Namely, we'll learn how to convert large and small numbers into scientific notation. We'll learn that if we have a number in scientific notation, how to convert that back into the regular decimal expansion. And we'll learn how to do some operations uh, with numbers that are written in scientific notation. Let's begin with an example. So we want to start by converting this guy, 6 billion, 440 million, into scientific notation. Now scientific notation is a way of writing this with uh, a few less numbers. Now the way we do it is we're going to write it as a decimal 6.44 times a power of 10. We need to figure out which power of 10 we need. And the way we do that is by simply counting how many decimal places we go from the right until we get to this spot right here. We want to have it be 6.44. We want to have it be a number that's between basically uh, 1 and 10. Okay, so if we count these decimal places, right, how many decimal places? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we will write this as 6.44 times 10 to the 9th. And that will give us exactly 6.44 billion. Now for part B over here, this is a small number, a number that's less than 1, and we want to do the same thing. We want to write it as a number that's between 1 and 10 times a power of 10. Now when the number is less than 1, it's going to be a negative power of 10. But we do the same thing. We start from the decimal place here, and we move over until we get to the first decimal place that's right after the uh, first non-zero number there. So the first non-zero number is this one. So how many decimal places is that? It's one, two, three. So we can write this then as 1.24 times 10. And since we went to the right, it'll be negative three. And that's how we do it. But the important thing here is that this number should always be between one and 10. So it'll be like one point something up to nine point something but it should only have one digit to the left of the decimal place in either case. Example two. Now, once we have a number in scientific notation, converting back to regular decimal form is relatively straightforward. So let's start with the first one we have here, uh, 5.2 times 10 to the fourth. So what we have here is we have 5.2, and what we're gonna do is to figure out how to write this uh, without scientific notation is the exponent for this 10 here, 4, that means that this decimal place has to move to the right, since it's positive 4. It has to move to the right four places. So if we do that, it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we just fill in a 0 for every spot that we moved. And the decimal place will end up here. And so what we end up with then is we end up with uh, 52,000. Now for the second one, again, this negative three here means that that decimal place has to move three places to the left. So what we do is we write one, six, one, three, and we move that decimal place three to the left. So one, two, three, and that's where the decimal place goes now. So we fill in our missing places here with zeros. And so we get as our answer point or zero point zero zero, one, six, one, three. And that's it. Example three. Now we often want to multiply two numbers written in scientific notation, and it is pretty straightforward to do. So we'll start, the way we do it is we have basically for each number written in scientific notation, we have the part that is not the power of 10, and then we also have the power of 10. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna multiply each corresponding factor together first, and then we'll have a new number in scientific notation. So what I mean by that is we have 1.4 uh, times 2, and then it'll be times 10 to the negative fifth times 10 to the negative 2. Now, uh, 1.4 times 2 is just 2.8, and then uh, 10 to the negative fifth times 10 to the negative 2, we use properties of exponents, and we can consider that by multiplying 
it's 10 to the negative 5 plus negative 2. We add the exponents up when we have a common base, and that gives us 10 to the negative 7. So our answer is 2.8 times 10 to the negative 7. Okay, here's our final example. We want to divide two numbers in scientific notation. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rewrite this division in sort of fraction notation instead of using the division symbol. So it becomes 1.75 times 10 to the 12th over 4.6 times 10 to the 7th. And just like with multiplication, I want to regroup this so that the parts that are not the powers of 10, namely these guys, are written as sort of their own division. And then the powers of 10 are also written as their own division. So what I mean by that is we will do it like this. It will be 1.75 over 4.6 and then times 10 to the 12th over 10 to the 7th. Now, to do the first to do the first in red this frac this division, we'll just use our calculator over here. So 1.75 divided by 4.6. And you'll notice we get a really long number here. So I'm going to round it to the thousandths place, the third decimal place. So maybe I shouldn't write equals. I'll write approximate equals. So this is going to be 0 0.380. We round to 3.80 since the number to the right of the 0 there is a 4. And then we have times. So 10 to the 12th over 10 to the 7th. We use properties of exponents. When we have these exponential expressions, they have the same base. The base for both is 10. When we divide them, we simply subtract the exponents. So it's going to be 10 to the 12th minus 7. So that's 10 to the fifth. And the last thing we want to do here is that when we write in scientific notation, we want the number, so we have this decimal place here, the number to the left should be between 1 and 10. So to do that, I need to move this 1 to the right. And the way I can do that is I will write this as 0 0.380. I'm going to borrow 1 power of 10 from that 10 to the fifth. So I get 10. If I borrow 1 power, I'll have 10 to the fourth. And now when I multiply 0 0.380 times 10, it moves the decimal place one uh, space to the right. So it becomes 3.80 times 10 to the fourth. And the reason why I rounded to the third decimal place here is now at the end, we have two decimal places, which is what we began with up here. So we had two here and one here. So we'll, we'll just do it to two decimal places. And that's it for scientific notation. Uh, this requires a little bit of practice, so my suggestion is, uh, you know, do a bunch of these problems, try to master this, and once you have it down, it's, it's pretty straightforward. All right, until next time, have fun.